It's the moment you've been waiting for. It's the School Choir of the Year competition. And can you believe this will be the tenth? We've had a fantastic number of schools enter the competition, and today six of the very best junior school choirs have come to the Lowry Theatre here in Salford, right opposite the home of BBC North, to sing to win a place in the final. for this first semi-final of the 2012 competition. These six junior school choirs are about to go head-to-head, -head, singing with heart and soul, because only three of them can go through to the final in two weeks' time. Which choirs will it be? We have, from Yorkshire, St Martin's Ampleforth. From Hertfordshire, Heath Mount School. From Derry in Northern Ireland, it's St Patrick's Primary School. From Cambridgeshire, Gatlingay Village College. From Croydon, Coloma Convent Girls' School. And from Huddersfield, Lindley Junior School. I think they've brought along a few supporters. Uh, now, before our choirs show off their choral skills in competition, here's your chance to sing along with our audience here in the theatre. You'll know this hymn, I'm sure, and it should get things going. It's given me joy in my heart. Very, very fine voice. Well done. Especially you, you'd be pleased to hear. But it's not me the choirs have to impress if they're going to progress beyond the semi-final. It's our judges. First up, a vocal coach who's worked with some of the biggest names in the music industry. Will Young, and take that to name just two. It is, of course, David Grant. Our next judge couldn't be better qualified for the job. She's lived, breathed and created choirs and has a world-renowned reputation as a conductor and choral director. It is Susie Digby. <laughs> and finally, ladies and gentlemen, it's a local boy who knows a thing or two about singing. He's performed to royalty, presidents and even the Pope. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the people's tenor, Russell Watson. David, give us a hint. What are you looking for? OK, what we're going to be looking for is excellence, energy, connection with the text, a choir that lives and breathes what they're singing, that are really tight, really together, really accurate, and that make us feel tingles. Susie? For me, all the technical stuff has to be in place, but most important is the integrity of the interpretation of the text. Russell? Oh, I want those lovely little faces to make me smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try my hardest, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> OK, choirs, now you know. Thank you, judges. So here's where the competition truly starts. Each of our six choirs will sing their choice of hymn. Based on that performance alone, the judges will select three choirs to go into the final. Going first, a choir who made the final three last year. Will they go one better? It's Heathmount School from Hertfordshire. <laughs> The 
whole competition is something they really look forward to. All the way from September, they say, no, are we going to be doing the BBC again? Are we going to do the BBC again? I didn't ever tell them, so I secretly recorded them and then just sent it off and very pleased that we got through once again. Much better, much better. But that's what has to happen every time. I was really excited when we got through to the semi-finals because we've been in it before, so this time it will be really nice to win and hopefully that will really make Mr O'Brien really happy. We're really glad to be here and I think we're all really excited, although we're nervous at the same time. The soloists are probably quite worried, but I think they'll do really good anyway because they're really good singers. <laughs> David, never easy opening a competition like this. They did rather well, didn't they? They did really well. I think that when you start, particularly if you're starting with a solo in a competition such as this, it's nerve-wracking. And even though I could hear the nerves in the first soloist's voice, I thought she worked through them really well. I also felt that when the ensemble came in, there was a real uniformity of sound. A lot of people will think if you're not doing harmonies, it makes it easy, it's simple. But actually, if you're getting it wrong, it will be exposed. Now it, all that remains to be seen is whether the others that come on can match that. Exactly. <laughs> Susie, uh, what are your first impressions? A couple of tiny technical things. The last note of each uh, phrase, and this is often a place where 
choirs can just compromise their tuning a bit. Um, you just need to work on that, continue to work on that. And when you've got very loud and the two-part chord at the end, again, just refine that, keep making that clearer and better. And Russell, uh, they're an experienced choir. Did that come across? It did, very much so. I've got to say that this year I can see a vast improvement. I think your performance, as we would probably say in Salford, was absolutely smashing. <laughs> Thank you, he's Mark School. You rehearse for months, and then when you get there, it's one performance, and you have to get it right, otherwise you won't get through. Looking at the judge's comments, I really think we have done enough. I was really worried they were going to say we were really bad. I think I was more nervous than the children, but I was desperate not to show it, but I think they've worked it out. <laughs> Four years ago, our next school won this competition. Now, in the first year, they've become eligible to enter again. They're back for more. It's Lindley Junior School from Huddersfield. As part of our repertoire, we have the John Rutter version of All Things Bright and Beautiful, and which is already in sort of a bit of two parts. So I thought it'd be really quite a nice challenge for the choir to do, as well as being the most beautiful piece. Mrs North gives us lots of challenging songs, which is good, because if you sing a challenging song well, then it sounds really good, and she's also a really lovely person. I've still not phew, hit in the face by this wall of beautiful sound. We've still got a couple of months to get ready for the competition at the Lowry, and we'll be ready. We're all really excited to be on TV and everything. I'm also a little bit nervous, but I think once I get on stage, I'll be fine. It's great to get to a standard where we can be on, like, on a national stage. It's terrific.